the ultimate shade of it all. Get the tea ready, get sat down, everything has kicked off. I honestly was not even prepared for this. I woke up this morning, it was a peaceful day in England and my titties just hit me in the face. Honestly, you will not believe what's happened. Kat Von D has been at it again. <laughs> Kat Von D has gone all the way off on her personal Instagram over a brand called Makeup Revolution. I know a lot of people haven't heard of Revolution. Revolution is like an England brand. Like, it's in our stores, but I don't think it's really in America yet, or I don't know, it's just not in America as far as I'm aware. But Makeup Revolution is basically famous for duping people. Like, you know how we dupe Nikki with the power of makeup dupe? Which, I don't know where it is actually, I packed it up somewhere. But Makeup Revolution take it to a new extreme. They literally dupe the shit out of people's products. And it, it's not fair on the people that make them, but it is funny to see because you go into the store and you're like, like, they do like $40 palettes for like $10. Because people can't always afford the expensive palettes, which is fair enough, but they literally copy it word for word. Like, literally the design is so, so similar in most of the cases. I actually have something from Revolution. Um, I think I've tried a few of their highlighters and stuff like that before. You know I buy like every highlighter that comes out, like I have to try them. This one is Cookie and Cosmetics. <laughs> Can you even see it? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so basically what happened was Kat Von D came out with the, some would say legendary shade and light palette, which is a very sort of neutral, eyeshadow palette. I believe there are 12 shades. I have been to Debenhams in England like a hundred times to buy Kat Von D because it's supposed to be in the stores. Apparently it's only available online so Kat Von D, I don't know what you're playing at but I don't see how you can have posters in the store for me to take pictures with but then you don't sell the product. I'm not gonna buy the Alchemist palette without was finger swatching it. It looks beautiful, but I just can't risk it. Why don't we take a look at the picture? So basically Kat Von D came out with the legendary eyeshadow palette called the Shade and Light palette, which has been around for a very long time. I know that people like Carly Bible have often used it on their videos. Nikki Tutorials used to use Kat Von D products. She used to use things like the tattoo liner, which is very famous because it just doesn't rub off along with the Shade and Light palette once or twice. But Nikki very quickly, uh, well basically what happened was when she came out with the power of makeup, a lot of people criticized her eyeliner and compared it next to Kat's and said that hers bled quite a lot from Too Faced. And then here is the eyeliner and I wanted to compare it to my Kat Von D. You can see that the first swatch bled a lot. Here's a close-up of it, where the Kat Von D one did not, under the same circumstances. And there's also various things with that, and ever since then, I don't know if it's related or not, but I know there has been some various beef between Nikki and Kat Von D, because of obviously all the drama. That basically, Nikki, I remember saying somewhere that she used the, the Kat Von D um, eyeliner, and then she said that it dried up and she didn't like it anymore. I remember seeing that somewhere, but this is literally so long ago, just to give you the tea. And here is the Makeup Revolution palette. <laughs> dupe Central! You know how much I love a good dupe. Well, the, the, the controversy really kicked off in the comments. This is where we really saw people's opinions on the situation, on the Instagram post. Kat Von D's official Instagram handle is the Kat Von D. Why don't we take a look at a few of the comments that I came across that I thought were funny, okay? Because this is, this is really where you get to hear what people think about the situation. I hate cheap makeup and dupes are never as good quality over quantity every time, the Kat Von D. Okay, so that's one person's opinion. Another one is, I like that they switched it to light and shade instead of shade and light. <laughs> They literally called it the light and shade palette because I presume shade and light has some sort of copyright from Kat Von D Which which really seems crazy. They've literally just switched the words around like it's not even subtle It's literally like here's the dupe. <laughs> oh my god. Just spilled my tea You know, we don't spill our tea. We sip it. Oh my god The next comment that I came across makeup revolution is known for duping high-end products. It's true. I mean as for the quality I the highlighters from theirs that I've tried have been pretty, but they've been a bit flaky. Like, they're beautiful, but they didn't apply with precision. They were really kind of a bit glue, I don't know, just a bit dry, not dry. It's really hard to describe. They weren't bad, I did like them. But the issue that I had was they kind of just diffused all over the place, which is something that you don't usually get with well, I mean, it depends on the product, but that's personally my opinion. It wasn't called a highlighter, I believe it's like a strobing powder or something like that. So I guess strobing is more non-specific to an area. Pretty products, pretty products. The thing that kind of got people here is it does look very similar to Kat Von D's design and the layout is pretty much very, very near to identical, but a lot of brands have palettes in this shape. Like a lot of brands, I'm sure I've seen some really high-end brands do the one line at the top and the three at the bottom. 
oh my god, I'm so sorry. Like, it's quite common, like, it's not something that's like, oh my god, the first time I've seen it. Another person which kind of expressed the opinion of the masses from what I saw was, you are petty and rude, the Kat Von D. Hashtag use your voice, hashtag grow up, hashtag life is too short, hashtag you should be so lucky. Kat Von D, from what I remember, I can't remember who I got this information from, I knew someone that was on the inside, and they would tell me between a comparison with her and someone else that she was bringing in about five million profit to herself with her cosmetics each year. That's what I was told by someone. So that isn't the company profit, that's her take home salary. I don't know exactly if that's correct. It might be incorrect, but that's what I gathered, which is significant, which is definitely significant. And so people would say, well, you make enough money, what are you doing? But I can also see from an artistic perspective, you know, she says she's an artist and if she's created something, which doesn't look that revolutionary, but if she has created something and she feels like someone's copied it, which it looks like they have, I could understand why she'll be upset. Would I go to my Instagram and post a picture and diss them? I don't know. Kat Von D disses Breakup Revolution, you decide. Would John Cookie do this in the future? Time will tell. Someone said hashtag unfollow. Another person said, whoa, way to be professional. There's definitely a great mix of people here. There's a lot of people saying, we support you, we support your brand. And there's a lot of people that are open-minded that were kind of just like, this brand, eh. A lot of people stand behind Revolution. Another comment that I came across was, Makeup Revolution has dupes of several palettes, not just this one. They make affordable palettes for people because not everyone can afford a $50 palette. This was so uncalled for. That's 58 likes in a comment, which is significant for Instagram. The thing with me is though, I completely, and the, the popular opinion, if I wanted to just agree with everyone is say, you know, Kat Von D, stop being so powerful. Petty and I do agree with that, but I also see the other side where they've literally got such a similar palette. Like it looks nearly identical. I really do. I like Revolution. I do like them. I do think it's a bit shitty though to nearly duplicate the design. I don't know. I'm not in their shoes. Maybe my opinion would change, but right now from the outside, I'm kind of a bit like, I feel sorry for Kat in the sense that I'm like, well, I can get that, but it's so similar. It's literally like, don't bother with cats, just buy ours instead, which is great marketing, I guess. But I mean, it's just savage, I guess. I mean, yeah, you know what? I guess it's just savage. It's not good, it's not bad. It's just it's just savage. That's all I could say, really. I think Kat Von D's formula is loads of people could come out with an eyeliner and call it the tattoo liner, but people choose cats because they know the liquid liner is good. And it has a very strong reputation. People talk about it and people stand by it. Whereas the, the palette, I mean, I guess people that want the cat palette will buy the cat palette. Anyone knows the formula isn't going to be identical in the cheaper palette because they probably couldn't afford to make the same formula because formulas are expensive to make for high-end products usually, depending on the high-end product. I saw a recent review for the Too Faced honey peanut butter and honey palette and I just didn't get it I just didn't get it I was like but then I don't really get a lot of Too Faced products like it's not it's different to what I formulate I think there's a lot of different types of products and for me personally Too Faced I find to be not dry but it's like almost chalky and it works really well for them people love it but for me personally I prefer really wet thick dense pigment that you can blend out but I'm not a fan of the very subtle which you often see in things like uh, k-pop music videos you know the very subtle soft eyeshadow I think it's beautiful but it's just not what I currently work towards let's take a look at a couple more comments the shade of it all the shade of it all I agree I agree this has been sent to me a hundred thousand times after I saw it myself on Instagram it's hot tea it is hot fresh tea do you want me to cover the Nikki tutorials over collab I've been thinking about covering it. I definitely have some ideas and I feel like I've looked so much into Nikki's previous collab that I could do something juicy. So let me know down below if you want me to look into that and give the video a thumbs up if you'd like me to look into that. What do you think about the whole situation? Do you think it was right for Kat to do this or do you think it was tacky and shady? I need to know what you think because with me, I'm really pulled. I am really pulled. Please don't get mad at me for being in the middle, but like I genuinely sit here and I'm like, I see both sides because it's like if they made a palette and it was called like the light and shade and the layout was slightly different like the shades were flipped over or something like that I'd be like yeah it's fine but to have the shades in the same place and I was like <sighs> but the palettes don't look identical the colors are definitely not identical you can see from the photo so I guess there is the other side I don't know here this is the Kat Von D shade and light eye contour palette and this is the makeup revolution ultra eye contour light and shade palette eager to see if the Makeup Revolution one was a good dupe for the Kat Von D and I do think it is. The Kat Von D is definitely better in terms of quality and consistency I think and the fact that I had zero fallout. They blend a little bit better, a little bit creamier. There is kick up with the shadows but there is still some kick up with the Makeup Revolution one as well. As you know already if you watch my videos I'm a big fan of both formulas so I definitely think if you're in the market for a neutral matte palette, 
then this is a great option, the Makeup Revolution one, to save you a little bit of money. I think it looks really great on the eyes and it held up well as you can see in the clip that I showed you earlier on. I think for Kat to do what she did, I'm not really sure about it. This is why you have channels like mine. She could have DM'd me and been like, John, take a look at this palette. <laughs> I've seen the palette for ages and I really offended by it. I saw it and I thought, you know, it's a dupe of Kat's. It's not gonna be the same formula, but it's a dupe of cats. I don't know, very, very shifty, strange situation. Being from England, England is a very small place. We all know each other. And I did actually reach out to the owner of Makeup Revolution. And I also reached out to Kat. In this instance, I've been unable to get through to either of them. Evil knows evil. No, I'm joking. Do you think I'll get a reply from the Makeup Revolution owner? Time will tell. If you want me to do a follow-up to this video or anything like that, I'll probably just include it in another scandal that comes up in the future, but I'll keep an eye open for you. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'm gonna be working on some scandals. I'll see you soon. Bye.